www.xlog.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about the brand new XLog that XPOL has put out for their polls. Now, um, if you've never heard of the XLog, it's basically a feature on the bottom of the poll that allows you to turn it simply a quarter of a turn to change the poll from static to spinning with just a turn. Um, in the older models, um, you had to have a hex key, and there were two places on the base of the pole where you would loosen those screws and or tighten them, and that's what would change the pole from spinning to static. However, this new Xbox feature makes it a lot easier, especially for those of us who are teaching pole dancing classes. So how this works. Okay, so what we have here is the close-up of the base of the new X-Lock by x -Pole. And as you can tell, it's a very simple feature as I was showing you. Right now the pole is in static, meaning it will not spin, um, and it's a stationary pole. And then with a simple quarter of a turn like so, then the pole automatically turns into a spinning pole. Really cool feature. Now if you have an older um, NX Model X pole that you bought, then you can put the X-Lock on, the, on those NX models pull. So we'll just briefly go through those models. Now, if you have the very first X pull model they put out, the screw together type pulls that doesn't have X joints, you cannot use this. It does have to be an NX model with the X joints and then it can adapt. Now this particular pull right here is a pull, um, an NX model X pull that was bought prior to 2014. Now there's just some very slight differences in the NX models in the prior 14 models they came with um, this adjuster cover that unscrews like this, okay? So you can see the adjuster bar on the inside. These three hex screws tighten down on the flat part of the adjuster bar, and that's what, um, how this particular model of pole is installed. Now, after 2014, x -Pole did make this movable adjuster cover that you screw on like this. They did away with that, and this is permanently on the pole, on the NX model pole and this adjuster cover will come with a line, and um, then you, on the line on the adjuster cover, you line it up with a red mark on the X-Lock adjuster bar. So that's how it would install. So it doesn't matter whether you have a pre-14 or an after-2014 model NX model pole, you can put this cool X-Lock on your pole, as long as it's the NX model that has the X joints. So um, this is a really cool feature, like I said, it, it makes it so much easier, especially for studio use, because a lot of us used to run for our hex keys with our NX model poles when we wanted to change from static to spinning, meaning you have to stop class, you have to, everybody has to go and grab their hex keys, and then you would unscrew, you know, obviously, the two hex screws in the base, which isn't too big of a deal, and that would change the pole from static to spinning so you could continue class. And this makes it, does away with those tools so that you don't need them anymore. Now, um, some final tips about installing this on an older model pole. It works fabulous. However, over tightening was an issue with my pole. Um, you cannot over tighten x -Log. It's really important. A lot of us really like to really install our poles tight to just to ensure that they're safe. And you cannot over tighten these poles or it will um, make the pole hard to spin because this x -Log works a little bit different. So just don't over tighten it, it's not a big deal at all. Now, um, the, other, the other tip that I have for you, again, it's not a problem at all, is when I first installed this onto my older NX model pole, I didn't have these um, hex screws right here. Let me turn it so you can see. I didn't have them down tight enough. It's really important to get all three of these very tight when you, when you change out your NX model pole for the X pole. That way it will turn into a solid static. If you don't get these tight enough, obviously there's gonna be a little slack in it. And that's just a user error, you know. Just be sure to get these nice and tight up here when you go to use it. 